In this video, I'm using SOLIDWORKS 2020. Never, nevertheless, all the basic commands I use could be used in older version. In previous video, in the new SOLIDWORKS document, I am in the Novice step. You select one of the three documents. Click Advanced Step. I created a part template file. A new SOLIDWORKS document dialog box appear. You could see the three default template, namely part assembly drawing. I added a part template. When you open a, a document using the file template, all the new setting you do in the document property will be saved in the template file, saving you time when you open new part document. To create your own template, change to your desired setting. So, so you go to file, save as, and you browse to part template then you give it a name and you save of course now you are saving in solidworks template folder but you can you can browse to your own folder if you like i also want to talk about the s key S key. The S key shortcut can be customized. Okay, let's look at the model that we are going to draw. I I will draw from the top plane. sketch I press the S key then I have the sketch shortcut menu you can customize the S shortcut simply by right click and say customize customize dialog box appear from the flyout from the flyout menu, you, s you can select the command you want to add. For instance, I want to go to sketch command. And then, if I want to add any of the command, I simply click and, and drag to the shortcut menu. So we are learning to sketch the, the model so on the right. Just a reminder, always look at the cursor feedback, yellow icon when sketching. Example horizontal vertical midpoint. Now I press the S key. I want to draw a circle, click circle. So the feedback telling you that I'm going to have the center of the circle coincident with the origin I click click I click center again I draw another circle I press the S key I can go to command um, dimension command ok let me dimension this one as 40 enter Sixty. Okay, let me get out of the sketch. I press S key again. The picture command come out. 
I can say I should boss base and I will make it 45 plus 15 over here is 60 so I type 60 So um, now I want to draw draw this portion here. So I'm going to I can click the middle mouse and rotate the model. I click this space. I say sketch normal two. Let me draw a center line. Press the S key. Center line. I click. Okay, the feedback is horizontal. I click, I skip the end key, and the command. I go to isometric, isometric and see whether I'm in the right direction. Yes, I'm in the right direction because I want to follow the diagram. Okay, I go to normal two. Now I draw two circle. As dimension dimension this one 20 dimension this line 75 you can press escape key to exit the command so I want to use combo entity to project this sketch to the sketch plane I can select this edge here you can see that the feedback the system feedback telling me that I'm in I'm at edge mode press the S key I convert entity ok now the sketch the entity is projected so I'm going to draw a line and make a horizontal line. Draw a line again. This way is horizontal line. And I ask key I trim. Power trim. Click drag click drag click drag click drag click drag so I want this portion I don't want this part so now I can dimension the up radius 25 ok So this line should be horizontal. So I click, I set the horizontal. Okay, this one similarly for this line. Click and make it horizontal. So now the sketch is fully defined. So I'm going to going to project. The, I'm going to. Go to the picture tab and extrude boss base. I see the sketch. SP. No. Extrude boss base. I go to isometric view. Let me change the direction. And a distance of 15 mm. Now I want to draw a line. The 
The rib command will not work because rib cannot project on the curved surface. We need to draw a closed profile instead. The profile must cover a portion of the cylinder face. Use extra ball space to form the rib. So, I'm going to sketch on the front plane. Sketch. I normal two. Line command. Make sure it's coincident. Coincident. And I must go beyond the curved surface. I click. Click. Close the sketch. So I need to dimension the distance of 25. S. Let's key dimension select the, the edge here and here bring it down twenty five. Okay, now the sketch is fully defined. Close the sketch. S key. I can extra ball space. Mid plane. Isometric view and see. And the distance is 10. Okay. So I'm going to draw the left portion of the model and I'm going to create a plane 45 mm from the face here. So I go to the plane command. Okay, this head up view, uh, the, some of the command I also customize. Simply using the same method, you you go to option, customize, and then you drag the the command that you want in, into there into the head of view I select this space so I want to offset flip flip over and the distance 45 ok now I'm going to sketch on this plane sketch okay, normal 2 I'm going to draw a rectangle. Press the S key. Okay, draw a corner rectangle. Okay. Coincident to the curve here. Okay. Do a dimension. Okay, I want to make the this line and the circle meet. So I click the up here. Control click the line here. And I say tangent. So the sketch is still not fully defined. I select this line. Control select the origin. And make it a coincident relationship. Now the sketch is fully defined. Let me go to isometric view. I see the sketch. I see here. Extrude board base. Uh, make sure I I extrude up, and the distance supposed to be fifteen mm. Same as the thickness here. So ten to fifteen. Okay. Okay.
So now I want to sketch a rectangle on this space here. I click sketch number two S key draw a corner rectangle. Man, uh, okay, don't click the origin. Otherwise, you cannot. You, you don't click the mid mid point. You must click on the line. Then you can do the measurement. Fifteen. Forty-five. So we can see the sketch. So we extrude this time I change the end condition to up to surface. Now we have finished the sketch. Now I want to draw a rectangle for the rib. I said earlier because of the curved surface you cannot use rip command. So I sketch on this face. Sketch number two. Let me draw a rectangle. Corner rectangle. Make it go down a little bit. Okay, it uh, this rectangle must go below the the edge here. Otherwise, uh, there's a problem in extruding. So I get out of the sketch. S key, extrude boss boss base, and this time I say up to next. Because up to next, we we'll make sure that is it project properly onto the curved surface. So the last part is to create two holes. So I'm going to sketch on this space. I say sketch. First I want to draw a guideline. I draw center line to guide me. Presume that the hole is in the center. So I draw a diagonal line. Let's see again. I'm going to draw a circle. Okay, draw on the midpoint. The system feedback tell me I mean I made the midpoint. Click, click, S key, dimension this one. Fifteen. I can use the mirror entity. So over here. Accidentally, I I get out the sketch. I click again, edit sketch. So you can edit a feature or edit a sketch. Okay, now I want to go to mirror entity. Entity to mirror. I select this circle. Mirror about. I'm going to mirror about the the front plane and click OK I see the sketch let's see I'm going to have a shortcut. cut okay, I need to se select the, the sketch OK so I can drag out a little bit doesn't matter OK I can hide the plane so now the the model is completed thanks for watching the video